guys, Joshua Peters of Peterson Electric, part two to this video on welders. Um, uh, phone cut out there, but so what we're looking at is this is my chart I made up. This goes from 40 to 225 in the green, okay? Basically, when he was welding, he had the same um, exact rod, and as soon as this rod burned out, we knew it was consistent of what it was acting like at whatever amperage he picked. He said he likes to be at 90 to 105. Well, at 105, I had a 5 volt drop. So as a, he was arcing, it went from 55 amps to 50 amps. At 120 selection, it had a 6 volt drop, and it was going at 13, well, 6 to 13 volt drop, which was pretty high, and it was at 60 to 52 amp. And at 135, we had a 6 volt drop as we changed it. And it went from 68 to 60. And at 150, we had a 6 volt drop, 72 to 61. 175, we ended up at 6 volt drop, 72 to 65. And then all the way up to 225, we had a 5 volt drop and 60 to 49 amps of in between of it fluctuating. So the steady here was with his hand, and as he pulled away on the arc weld, that's where the current was. So as you can see, my voltage really quit dropping dramatically right in this area as we increased the amperage here. But where my voltage was dropping the most, for some reason, was right, right at 135 and 120. And I'm still not sure why I saw a 13 volt drop. Why does that matter? Well, if you take 13 volts and you drive, divide that out by 245, you're going to see that you're going to be a 5% to 6% voltage drop. You want to be right at 3%. And 3% of 245, uh, you know, I don't have the calculator on me this moment, but you guys can do that math. But anyway, so then when we did it at 90, we were at 3 volt drop, 50 to 43 amps, and he said that's great for a number 8 rod. So I know that a 60 amp breaker is doing well on that. And I know that my breaker was running at 80 degrees after...